catch it by a drive of double digit plays, then also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. Now Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. He's got room at the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the next-gen stats are going to tell the story. And, wow, what a story it is. Nearly a full 23 miles an hour. One of the fastest plays on record, folks. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14-7. to Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Pulls it in at the 13. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Cleveland offense ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. But Watson hooking up with Cooper there for the Cleveland first. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Watson on first down. Tries the right side, and he finds Bell. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left. He tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. For Nick Chubb. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there.
On first down, they'll run with Chuck. Inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's good for a Cleveland first down, an 11-yard pickup. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They run it again with Chubb. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Corners are known for their ability to cover, but those that'll stick their nose in against the running game, that's a bonus for any team. And what a nice play right there, tackling him for a loss. Quick slam completes into Joku. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 20-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. A give running right is Chubb. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the gun, here's Watson. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Out of the gun, Watson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. The final shot before the break. Watson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace with fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game two and now on first down he's gonna loft one deep left side here this is caught inside the 15. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 55 yards. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. 
They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Mostert will score. Touchdown, Miami. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Morstead out now, following the touchdown to kick. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They make their second half debut here. Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because they don't get some kind of points here. That next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. We were just saying off-air during halftime, could they mount a comeback, and how would it start? Well, it started in a hurry. Yeah, they have to get back into the game, right? So if you're going to do that, you think to yourself, we need points right here on the opening drive. But even in their best game plan, did they expect it to be a one-play drive and put the points on the board? Probably not. No, probably not, but they got it in a big way. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. at the line ready for their next drive they were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter but that just got matched a moment ago so we know that what they discussed at the half worked now what are the counters to that right you don't in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked up by john johnson and the browns are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24 yard line Watson in the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And again, it's Chubb. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of the tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw, Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, it has been the passing game that's really been responsible for much of the scoring so far. But let's not forget about this running attack. They're pretty good, too, as evidenced right there. And I think, Brandon, the fact that they've thrown the ball so well contributed to that touchdown because that was a defense that was really keyed up to cover those receivers. All they wanted to do was blanket them. They didn't have enough men in the box to stop the run, and you saw the end result. Sanders on for the extra point. point. 
He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Cleveland offense ready to go. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play that time for Cleveland. 57 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Browns have got it back to within a score. And to me, the key to a wide receiver run like that is getting around the first edge guy. It's often like a punt returner. Make that first guy miss, because if you can do that successfully and get upfield, we know good things can happen. He's able to take that one into the end zone. The extra point by York is up and good. And they're within seven now in 28-21. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Ready? On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Throwing on second and eight. Tua. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 41-yard line. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. 
So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. Up the middle they go with Mostert. 94 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this play doesn't work at all as he's going to be marked down behind the line after the dive. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. It's brought in by Wilson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, a run with Mostert. Last run got three, now here's second and seven. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. And trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big time playmaker for us. Sanders' kick is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Pulls it in at the 13. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. drive about to get started we have seen a lot of points here in this quarter for us up here in the booth it's been fun to watch the defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads yeah they're going a little bit crazy right now but let's face it all of our friends who play fantasy <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points yeah points certainly not at a premium here 
Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Now Watson going to sneak it. And he takes this one in for Brown score. Deshaun Watson keeping it himself on the quarterback sneak. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. From way up at the 23. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And we often talk about defensive ends setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. That the defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignment. He comes through and puts him on the ground. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Back to throw is Tua. Being chased out left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. The danger of a punt that good, a 16-yard return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. The Cleveland offense ready to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. But they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understanding where they are in the field? Here's Watson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. To throw, Watson. Right back to Njoku. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Well, Charles, I know you have a lot of questions. So do I about the decision there at the end. They had the potential game-tying field goal. Yes, it would have been a long field goal, but they passed it up, and they lose the game. And you're right, partner. 
We all have questions, but I don't think anyone's going to ask the question more forcefully than the person who signs the checks for the entire organization. Why didn't you run the field goal kicker out there? You had a chance to tie the game. It looked like a makeable kick. Was the kicker hurt? Did you just not like the field conditions? This head coach is going to have to have a heck of an explanation.